This video is about the post correspondence problem. The post correspondence problem is often simply called PCP. This problem has nothing to do with the postal service. Rather, PCP got its name from the Polish American mathematician Emil Post. The post correspondence problem is all about dominoes. However, we don't use regular dominoes. Our dominoes do not have numbers or dots. Instead, each domino has two short words, one on each side. We never turn, or rotate, a domino. The darker side is always on top, the lighter on the bottom. Of each domino, we have as many copies as we want. So we can use each domino many times. Let's look at a first example with five dominoes. We want to place the dominoes next to each other, like this, such that the top row of letters is exactly the same as the bottom row of letters. If you remove all the spaces between the words, top and bottom are the same. You can see that both top and bottom start with the letter I. Then both have a letter N, then E, etc., until Y at the very end. Writing without spaces is called continuous script. Classical Greek or Latin were written as continuous script. When writing without spaces, sentences may become ambiguous. Here is an example of a Latin sentence that can be read in two different ways. We have come a long way since then. For more than a thousand years, spaces between words have been the norm. Well, except for hashtags. Hashtags still have the continuous script problem. Okay, let's do a first real example. Here we have four dominoes, and we want to arrange them in a way, such that the top and the bottom continuous script is the same. Can we do that? Remember that we may choose the same domino multiple times. Maybe this is a good point for you to pause the video, and think about the problem by yourself for a minute. Here is the solution. We cannot start with the first domino because its first letter on top is already different from its first letter on the bottom. The only domino where the first letter is the same on top and bottom is the second domino, so we must start with that one. Now the bottom has an additional letter B, so we need a domino that starts with a B on the top. Only the first domino fits, so let's put the first domino next. Now we're missing CA on top, so we append the last domino. Next we need an A on top. This is the first time we can actually choose since both the second and the third domino are a match. When solving a PCP, we will often face such decisions. Let's try the second domino. We have used this domino at the very beginning already, but we are allowed to use a domino as often as we like. After placing this domino, we need a B on top to catch up. Luckily, we have such a domino. After placing it, we see that we're already done, because the sentence on top is exactly the same as the sentence on the bottom. Let's do another example. This example has only three dominoes, with just a binary alphabet. Is there a way to create a sequence of dominoes such that top and bottom bit strings are equal? If you want, you can pause the video again, and try yourself. As before, only a single domino fits as a start domino. Also the next domino is immediately determined, since we need 1 0 on the bottom. Only the first domino fits, since the second domino has a 0 on the bottom, and the last domino starts with two ones on the bottom. Next we need a 0 on the bottom, so again only the middle domino is valid. Now we have a choice. We need 1 1 on the bottom, and both the left and the right domino would fit. We cannot greedily solve a PCP instance, since we will face many such decisions. We can try a domino, but might run into a problem later. Then we have to backtrack, and try something else. In this example, we would be running into such decisions all the time. In fact, if we run a naive backtracking algorithm, we wouldn't find the solution. In this example, the solution consists of a whopping 75 dominoes. Some dominoes will be forced, but there are still many decisions along the way, and a simple backtracking algorithm is simply too slow. We can solve such an instance with additional considerations. In this example, the number of bits in the two strings can only match, if we use the left and the right domino equally often. However, in general, PCP examples can become really difficult. 
with only five dominoes, we can build an instant which is not only very difficult to decide but in fact undecidable. Here you see such an undecidable PCP instant with five dominoes only. They are a bit more complicated than the previous dominoes because we need to encode an undecidable problem in these dominoes by using the two variables x and z. Once we replace z with the right value and x with the right bit string, we have a five domino PCP which can be proved to be undecidable. Our only hope is to limit the size of the solution. If we want a solution that consists of at most k dominoes, we can check all possible solutions in exponential time. Indeed, some PCP instances are NP-hard, even in the bounded case. Finally, let's go back to something simpler. Here we have some dominoes. Notice that the alphabet now only consists of a single letter. Is there a solution for this PCP? Please pause and think for a second. This example is actually quite easy. The rightmost domino has four strokes on top and bottom. So just using that domino once is already a valid solution. In general, if a domino has the same number of strokes on both sides, we're done. But what if that rightmost domino was not part of our input? Let's remove it, pause, and think again. Now we only have dominoes which have strictly more strokes on the bottom. In this case, PCP cannot be solved. With each placed domino, the bottom string advances more, and the top string can never catch up. So we need at least one domino which has more strokes on top, and at least one domino which has more strokes on the bottom. If we have two such dominoes, we can get to the least common multiple of their absolute differences, and always find a solution. Like in this example. Let us summarize the main insights of this video. We have introduced the post correspondence problem. The post correspondence problem comes in various flavors, and we can play with lots of parameters. We have learned that PCP is easy as long as the alphabet of the words consists of a single letter only. If we only accept solutions of a given maximum size, PCP becomes NP hard. And in general, PCP is even undecidable. So PCP is a perfect playground to highlight the three main difficulty classes. Polynomial algorithms, NP hardness, and undecidability. Thanks for watching this video.